you try to incorporate both, you know, and when you, uh, you go into a game with what, uh, in a game plan of stuff that you think, you, number one, that you do well. Number two, that, you, that works maybe against a defense that looks that you're getting. Um, and then you want to call your, your best stuff first. But then situations can kind of jump around too if you get into a long, long, long yard of situation. You know, sometimes, and they're playing pass. It's not easy to be aggressive when it's, when it's third and 20. You know? so, so little things like that. So you got to be able to adjust. But the, the biggest thing is you know, when you're developing a game plan, you can make an aggressive game plan. You know? and, uh, and so that, that's part of it. And then just kind of adjusting as the game goes on. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I know, uh, you know that was a big focal point from last season to this season is creating more big plays. And uh, I know statistically in the passing game, I think we're up there as far as uh, plays past 20 yards for a top 10 team or whatever that is. Um, so, I, so we've seen a little bit of that. But at, at the same time, it, you know, aggressive doesn't just mean throwing the ball down the field. It could mean the way you know, you're getting the ball in the perimeter. There's, there's a lot of things that, that go into that. But it, it, it's also a mindset of just physicality, where, uh, not just up front, but the whole team and, and everyone just playing aggressive, you know, and coming off the ball and running off the ball, you know, um, and so and not getting guys to hesitate. And part of being aggressive from an offensive stance is from the coaches, we, we got to keep it simple enough for our players that they know they can come out and be aggressive and play fast and not think. That's, that's where the aggressiveness starts. And then the plays are the plays. Are plays.